Hello guys, welcome back today. So a bit of a different video here today. Today we're going to be taking a look back at my keyboard that I got a year ago. And I did an original unboxing on my other channel, which you can check out up here. Literally a year ago because my old Logitech keyboard was... It was old. Um, it still works, it's just the space key on it. I would have to hit it two or three times for it to register. And considering the spacebar key is the key that is the most pressed on a keyboard. Um, maybe other than the... Um, the uh, eggplant emoji um it's it's um it's, it caused issues like it was bugging me so basically i just went on amazon and picked up you know the hk gaming gk 61 v2 i'm not sure what the v2 stands for this is kind of like one of those kind of chinese custom keyboards it's a custom keyboard so you can take all the keycaps off you can take the switches out you can swap the switches as well so this comes with um getter on switches and you've noticed Josh, are you using that in the American layout? Yes, I am. If you know, in the UK, we have a different layout. It's this right here. Um, it's actually technically the ISO standard layout, meaning other countries in the world use this layout. They just change the language on the keyboard, but America uses this layout. And I prefer this layout, actually, because a smaller enter key, I think that's fine. Bigger shift key, way better. Easier for playing Minecraft. If you've ever had those moments when you're holding down shift, uh, trying to mine across lava or, or a massive ravine and you just sl slip your finger off and boom, fall to your death. Um, one thing I just noticed, because I was recording this just now, because I was talking about software, because there is software to change the RGB and set profile, but the software is buggy. Uh, very buggy and kind of annoying to use. Um, if you try to, it, it'll prompt you to update firmware for the board, which could possibly, break. apparently I read on Reddit and other like custom keyboard forms, apparently could break your board. So, <clears throat> moving forward, don't even bother with the software actually, because I can't even find it on my computer anymore, because I just realized what the keys do on here. So, morning. Oh, some clarification. I've used a laptop in the past. I know what a function key does. It lets you access functions on the keyboard, which are layered on the key because this is a 60% keyboard, meaning there's only 60 keys. Um, the other keys like your end, page down, page up, home, that will be on like the numpad area on another keyboard. I think I have another keyboard I could show you. I do, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> um, I have a musical keyboard. That's not the same thing though. I have one in here, but this is kind of like a really, really old Logitech one. I'll just show a picture of my old keyboard on screen um, as a reference to what I'm talking about, because I don't know where it's gone. Uh, <laughs> I misplaced it. So, speak on that note, um, I've never really used like a laptop for the function keys, but I've had to do it recently for my mum's laptop because I busted my knee and I couldn't walk for days. So I needed something to kill time. So that being said, now there are some things I know, like holding down function and pressing the media keys. It does have media keys on the A, S, and D. You have your pause, you have your forward, back, you have your mute. So I do use these. I use all the ones which seem obvious, like pressing the tilde key for escapers, the at key, the dollar key, like all the obvious ones I do like know how to use. But then there's ones for the RGB, which I just never could figure out how to do it or to use it. I prefer using software. Now, one cool thing, and I'll do a little close up of this in a minute. Uh, most Type C cables, by the way, if you didn't know this, I actually have one down here. Shit, this is a good quality one. I'm gonna do a close up on screen because this lens isn't big enough. If your Type C cable has no seams, basically no like cuts down the middle, uh, that means it's quality, it's a good quality cable. This one doesn't have any of that, so the cable is one entire housing, it means it's just a better cable and it will last longer, and it is a detachable cable. I mean, as you can see, I'm waving it around. And um, if you, in, honestly, there's a bit of wobble on the keyboard, but it's honestly not that bad. Now, let me go switch over to a better view so we can actually see the keyboard in action, because on the desk here, it's gonna be a bit awkward, so. Be right back. Okay guys, sorry, my setup right now is a bit jank, but you could probably hear my voice a lot better because I've had to clamp my microphone to my tripod. Anyway, like I said, you've got a function key down here. Now, there's gonna be some flickering because of the lights and the camera. You got your function key and up here, which I'm gonna highlight, is where you change the RGB. So if you hold down function, you can go for a bunch of different presets. This one I'm guessing if pressing keys, there you go. Uh, the RGB is actually really cool. Now, something I didn't notice until literally 10 minutes ago, 
Um, to change actual colors, and you can set profiles, by the way, on these keys, which, honestly, I... But stuff like that, I leave alone because you can mess it up on the keyboard side of things. I'm just better at using software. Uh, one thing I didn't notice, so this is one preset where it's just solid blue. I didn't realize if you hold down um, function and hit this key, you can change the colors. Which I didn't know. Um, I wish I knew that. Now, if you want to do more stuff like actually having one side one color, one side another color, you will have to use the software. Um... I forget how to actually download it in this case. If anything, just bypass the software, set a preset on here, and then maybe one day I'll do a video actually going for the software. Just whatever you just don't update the firmware. Just don't touch the firmware, and you should be fine. Um, I, I know how people always like to brag about her saying IQ is such a terrible software, when realistically there are software out there which is a lot more unusable. And there's also other like keys on here. So like there's ones next to these ones here. What I'm guessing is like brightness, so brightness, lower, there's a key to turn off the RGB entirely if you want to. Um, so there's keys here for brightness control. There we go, that's where we are, brightness control, I didn't know that actually. There's another key here though, up and down. So what does this do? I don't know what they do, they probably do stuff for like other things on the key. Now, I'm guessing if you want to save this, you would hold down function and press M1. Um, I'm guessing, and oh god, of course, of course, it's gonna do stuff in my bloody game, let me get to the desktop. So I'm guessing now, if I was to sh shift to this here, and then press M1, actually, I don't know, see what I mean? There is a reset button here, so holding this down will, I guess, reset the keyboard, uh, in its entirety. I'm get. I'm now wondering what these do, so, pressing function, holding this down, I'm guessing, will that change the speed? Yeah, that changes the speed, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> so a little quick interject here, I just want to say this right now. If you look up HK Gaming GK1, the V2, I'm not even sure what the V2 even means, by the way, I did say that. Also, I decided just to Google uh, the keyboard to see if anything came up. Um, like, if anyone has any issues with the keyboard. Because uh, you do get that from time to time. So, for example, like this post here, has anyone else got the GK61V2 from HK Community? And they always prelude the stabs. Or stapes? Stabs? I, I don't know what that means. Is that a keyboard term? But one thing someone did say on this, uh, the, this Reddit form, apparently, um, what was it? Apparently, this keyboard doesn't work with the GK61X Plus software. Um, and they basically said here, advise anyone looking at the GK61, pay carefully attention to the serial number. Who's going to pay attention to a bloody serial number? And then they basically say, unless the software functionality improved, not to buy anything with a serial number stat with GK61 US. Considering most people are going to be buying the US layout, like I said in the video. Yeah, basically, I also found out as well, the, the, the like, profiles... The profile keys, or I'm guessing macro keys, they you have to do that for the software. They basically, yeah, it's just like whatever. I, I won't even bother. Like think about it. It's a it's a fifty pound keyboard. I, what do you expect? Now, going back to Amazon, I found my order again. Um, right now, currently the pink one is forty five pounds. The black is sixty one. They got a lavender one for fifty eight. And by the way. They, there are knockoffs of this keyboard, but I got mine directly from Amazon US, so, yeah, I, you may vary. They've got a white one as well, £55. Now, there was a one, a red one that was available, they're not available, and the blue one's not available. So, they actually are colors, and obviously you get different, and these are in uh, Gatoron, Opteron, Browns, and uh, there's only, ooh, there's only the other ones left. So, it seems like a popular keyboard, because, oh, what was it, red and blue is... Not, what was it, is not available, and then all the other optical switches are not available, so, yeah, keep that in mind, um, but overall, really, really great keyboard, uh, the fact that I now know I can just change the colours, which one is it, that one? Wow, my camera is so much better than my webcam, look how shit my webcam is, literally, it does not do justice with this keyboard at all. M1, M2, M2. Are you guessing that profiles? Oh, I don't know why we wouldn't label them as P. You guys will be able to see this unless I zoom in to see here. Hang on, let me just turn this on. See here? Oh, now I need to turn that down. 
So, you know, profiles here for something. And then the keys I was alluding to earlier is this one to actually change the RGB. This one to turn it off, I'm guessing. Oh no, that one doesn't turn it off. This one turns it off. This one lets you change individual colors on each profile, which I didn't know about until recently. So yeah, the mode thing over here, I'm not sure how you actually do this, but then you have a reset button here. So yeah, just something to take note of. Let me just switch that off, and then I have to whack this back up to about, I think we got it about a thousand. There we go. And then let's turn the RGB back. Oh, oh it's already on. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna be careful, I'm gonna click this stuff on my keyboard. Let me just open up a notepad or something. This looks pretty nice, this blue. I quite like this blue color. And if we go back into here, this is what I would have it at. And back before I broke something, I don't know why I did, I pressed function and hit damn. I, I had one side pink and one side blue. Um, now I know this changes the color. I'm gonna be setting mine to this pastel pink because this looks nicer. And if we were to, I'm guessing, go back to here, so this changes the speed. That's really, oh god, that's, that's hurting my eyes. Um, guessing this will do the brightness of the overall keys. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that you could do that on the actual just key, like keyboard. This, I mean, most of these keyboards, 60% keyboards, it's a standard thing, but this is like my first 60% keyboard. So honestly, um, it's kind of new to me. I'm guessing this key only works on, um, the preset ones, because it doesn't look like they're, oh, I think they're working, no, what the hell is that, that's kind of gnarly, and you have like a little love heart here, oh, you can, can you change the color for love heart, I don't know, uh, you can change the speed of it, I'm guessing, is that the speed now, I can't remember, speed, you can make it go really, really slow, really, really fast, this is why I don't like stuff like this. It's, it's really tedious to me. Um, but nevertheless, yeah. Honestly, this the keyboard has like the best, some of the best RGB I've actually seen. Um, because it lights up the entire key area. My old keyboard, it would just light up the actual lettering. So this is actually some really, really nice um, RGB here, especially on this camera. Actually, that reminds me. Also, I'm using the standard picture pro, uh, picture pro, picture profile on my Canon camera, meaning these will be colors straight out of the camera, and not me tweaking anything. Because usually I set this to like a, like a LUT thing. Yeah, this is like, this is also really elegant. I, I, I'm tempted to leave it at that. That looks really elegant. I think my problem with moving stuff is just messes with my eyes when I'm playing like Call of Duty or something. Um, yeah, I'll try and figure out what these keys do. I'm guessing they're modes, function, I don't know. I'll, if I figure it out, I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but yeah, I don't know. That is like a really cool one there. And then you have, there's, there's so more, I haven't gone into it. Let me just go, so there's a breathing one here. This is cool, I don't think I've showed this one off. This one I think breathes through different colors. It does, it breathes through like a rainbow. I'm guessing you can change the speed of it. To make it go really fast. This is like a stat. This is like a standard rainbow theme you get. Like my computer does. My computer fans do it. Um, and this is the one where you can just tap keys and it will change. Oh, that's interesting. That's weird. Why is everyone doing those keys? My music started playing on my computer. There we go. I don't know why it's doing that. I think it, I think this is the one I'm talking about, this breathing one. So it breathes through different colors, I think it is, or just blue and red, I can't remember exactly. I um, mean, it is, but I'm guessing if you press this here, this will breathe through different colors. Breathing, we'll give it breathing red. Ah, no wonder I thought it was just breathing red. I must have clicked this at some point. Breathing just green. Breathing just blue, so R, G, and B. Breathing just yellow, like a nice gold color. Breathing just like a nice purpley pink, and then breathing just light blue, like a nice baby blue. And then breathing like a nice pastel pinky color. And then it goes back to red. 
And if we go back into here, this is like your static colors. Now I know you could do this. I'm gonna leave it as that because that looks adorable. Anyway, back to the, back to my talking head. So yeah, this keyboard has been great for the last year. It did take a few months to kind of get used to it. That's a mess, I know. Uh, it did take a while to get used to it because of obviously the American ANSI layout, but having a much bigger shift key, and if I'm now looking at it closely, there is some like fadiness on the shift key, but honestly, the keys still feel nice and grippy. Um, not greasy like my old keys did. Uh, keep in mind, I had that Logitech keyboard for um, now, if I think about it, um, 2022. Um, one, two, three, four, six years. Um, six, seven years, I don't remember anymore. Um, so yeah, it, this is um, this is great, it's amazing. And like I say, you can pick them up on Amazon for like, you know, 50, maybe even 40 quid. Um, I'll leave a link down below to where you can find this if you do like it. Um, stay tuned for the end of the video because I will do a sound test and um, um, if you want to hear it without my, I mean, I could always just do it right now, hang on. Like did I mention the Gateron Browns? Um, but Gateron Browns are good for they're a good balance between typing and gaming. These are not too loud, like Gateron Blues or Cherry Blues, which I find is just way too loud. So yeah, the HK Gaming GK1. Uh, by the way, you can take the switches out if you want to. So say you want, I don't know, your gaming switches, your WASD to be different from your. But then again, <clears throat> you're gonna be typing on these anyway. Um, maybe you want your escape key to be a different, <clears throat> different typing experience. Maybe you want your enter key to be a bit quieter. I, I don't know. <clears throat> you can also change the caps as well. Um, one downside to this keyboard, uh, there's no flippy legs. Um, that's one issue. But, but again, this was this was fifty quid, so um, it's got a nice housing and this pink job. It's nice. I want to call it blush pink. Just goes really nicely. Um, <clears throat> does come in blue, like baby blue. Does come in a black. So if you want it to be sleek, um, you do have that. But yeah, overall, for the last year, it's been a blessing. Anyway, I've been North Gold. Stay tuned. If you want to learn more techy stuff, go check out my tech and kind of uh, photography. And actually, as the name implies, one of my friends go, "Do you take shots?" And I was like, what do you mean? You know, drinking shots. And I was like, no, no, but we could do that if you want to. So, <clears throat> you know, vlogs, tech, photography, or limited photography, to be honest. I haven't done it for a few, few months. But also just other random little pieces over there. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> also, stay tuned this month uh, because my Corsair mouse... Oh, that reminds me crap. Oh, yeah, I was going to buy my mouse this month. Stay tuned next month or next weeks or so because I'm going to be replacing my Corsair Scimitar with the wireless version. And this mouse is old. <laughs> this is the only thing in my setup which is from my last previous setup which is old. Um, also, my RAM, which you, which you, if you don't follow this channel, my channel, that my old RAM from my old system is now gone. I'll give it to my friend. And it works all perfectly in his system, which I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Weird. Anyway, I've been your scores, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm gonna go back to playing Call of Duty.